Editing videos using Wondershare Filmora became the easiest job I ever had since the day I learned to save my best creations as custom presets in my computer. I could use this trick on video clips as well as my well-created texts. This became a profitable habit until this day. Just today guys, I have seen Filmora popping for a new upgrade, and there are useful features there that are worthy of sharing. So this is the one I introduced this video with. Ability to save your custom text and video templates on the cloud. So after saving your video as a template, you go to Templates, and Custom. And here you'll find your video with a cloud icon on the top right, giving you access to upload your video to the cloud. After processing, you can check the transfer center here and here your template will be uploaded. The same will apply to texts. When you come to custom folder, you can see the cloud icon on the top right. When you click now it will ask if you want to upload every custom text. Instead of using other images as text backgrounds or going for another text box, version 12.2 has made it possible that you can just add the text background to that same text, just scroll further down, and you will see the background option. Here you can make it either one color or a gradient. You also have the option to set the radius, which is the round corners, and also how you want it to spread. Really this is one of the most useful improvements in this update, as much as editing YouTube Shorts is one of your considerations, also Facebook and Instagram Reels. If you drag your subtitle file into the timeline, you will right-click and go to Advanced Edit, or you can just double-click the file. And on this update, you can see the preview window here on the left side. The first major change is that you can now split and merge subtitles. For example, if you want to make this subtitle into two halves, you just use this icon right here. And then you can customize these two bars in your way. Same applies when you want to merge them. Just select two of them and use this merge option right here. The second one is on presets. If you press here, you will see there is an option to use word art as your preset, as well as your custom presets. And lastly, you are now able to customize the animation. Here is a time-saving update when editing your texts. This update is allowing me to edit batch texts. For example, Let's say I have four different texts. So what I'm going to do is double-click one of the texts, then press Ctrl and select the rest. Then I can customize the size, the font, and the preset. And when I preview here on the timeline, all the texts now look the same. Now here is the last update on this list. Filmora is now giving you access to add a thumbnail just before exporting. So when you open the exporting window, you are going to see this option right here. And if you click to change, another window pops up, giving you the option to select from the video using this playhead. Or you can use one from your PC. So this is going to help you easily locate your exports by looking at thumbnails. So this is all in this update list. If the video has helped you realize something, just give it a like and subscribe to the channel. For the insane AI features in Filmora, just click the video on the screen to learn more.